when you're looking at helmets specifically, uh, you know, on the outside, all these helmets, they kind of look the same. Um, when you start looking at the inside of a helmet, you want to make sure that the, the foam's in the right place. You want to make sure that, um, that it's going to fit properly. So when you put a helmet on at the store level, you know, I've seen players put them on, they have them up high like this. They kind of ride like a junior hockey player. I've seen them down low to kind of keep the sun out. What you should always try and do is make sure that it's two fingers above the brow of your nose, just kind of like that. Um, you want to kind of shake that helmet a little bit, make sure that it fits, that it doesn't wiggle. You also want to make sure that the jaw lines of the helmet come down around your jaw pad. So you can kind of see how this is on me. It's two fingers above the brow. The jaw pads are covered and we've got everything kind of in place. There's no wiggle to it. So that's how we kind of ensure proper fit for players at the, at the store level. Baseball helmets have one standard safety rule. It's called Noxie. Um, Noxy stamps are located on the back of a helmet. Um, kind of looks like a little helmet logo there. Um, every, every helmet manufacturer has to go through rigorous testing to make sure that their helmets pass the Noxy test. What the Noxy test represents is impacts, I believe, at eight locations along the helmet um, at, at a certain amount of speed that, that Noxy requires. And what they do is they test the impact test from the outside in. Uh, having the proper fit measures that it's a safety safety piece from the inside out. So we again, we try to ensure that everybody has the proper fit on the helmet because we we know that these helmets are designed to pass the tests that are in place uh, per the safety guidelines. So as long as your helmet's Noxie approved, it's good to go. Mm -hmm.